Hey guys, sup sup sup, Ray here for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council, and we got more Dragons of Legend spoilers, and this isn't straight from Konami, this is from the Japanese version of the same set. Now, keep in mind, everything should be the same, but we don't know the rarities, but everything's confirmed. These cards will make their appearance in Dragons of Legend, just keep that in mind, this is the Japanese version of that. So let's start with this right here, we have Amulet Dragon, which is the Dark Magician riding that to Maius. That looks pretty badass. Okay, one Dark Magician, one Dragon Tuner, so that means Dragon's Mirror is now capable of a thing, and a Blue Eyes Dark Magician crossover is probably a thing too. Uh, must be Fusion Summon with the uh, abu um, above Fusion Material Monsters with or with the Eye of Tamias. So Polarization, Dragon's Mirror, Eye of Tamias, and Fusion Gate allow you to bring it out. It cannot be Special Summoned by other ways. If this card is Special Summon, you could target any number of spell cards in either graveyard. And banish them. If you do, this card gains 100 attack for each banish. If this card is destroyed, you can target one spellcaster monster in your graveyard and special that target. It allows you to bring back your Dark Magician. That's pretty cool. Um, decks I could see actually playing this on a serious, like, I I'm being 100% serious, is some kind of spellbook hybrid. And the reason I say that, all they have to do is throw a dragon in the deck. Done. There's plenty of dragons to use. Um, I can't really think of one to, that's going to splash in there, but we'll figure that out when the time comes. Okay, the other card that's next to um, Amulet Dragon, I forget the names, is called Final Fusion. And Final Fusion comes out with a GX, I remember that much. During the battle step if, in which a fusion monster you controls, uh, control battles with a fusion monster the opponent controls, you target the two monsters, negate the attack, and if you do, both players take damage equal to the sum of those two fusion monsters. This gives me an idea for a great sacky in OTK, where it involves creature swapping heroes. That's all I'm going to say on it. Okay, next up is Blackwing Steen the Cloaked and number 70, uh, C79, 73. Okay, let's start with Blackwing. If the effect of Blackwing Steen the Cloak can only be used once per duel. Okay, if this card leaves the field, special one Steen token, level one, to your side of the field. Quasar black wings are a thing. Um, if this card is in your graveyard, you contribute one mo monster you control to special this card from the graveyard. If you do, this card cannot be it can uh, be used as synchro material if all other synchro materials are black wings. Honestly, he's not bad. He's level three. Um, I don't want to say it's what the deck needs. It, it's an option. I kind of wish it had this card could be special. It would make it 10 times better, but then again, yeah, I know. It would just allow Black Wings to have that level 8 access faster, but it's still a good card. Um, this is number C73. Once per damage calculation, either player's turn. When a monster you control battles, you can detach one exceed from this card. That monster gains attack equal to the attack of the opponent's monster it's battling during the damage calculation. So pretty much like an honest, if this card has number 73, Abyss Splash, as exceed material, it gains the following effect. This card cannot be destroyed by card effects, meaning it's very annoying, kind of like BLZ. Common outs will stop it, just saying. I'm not a big fan of it, but hey. And this has to be one of the best cards in the set, which we're going to get to last, but we have Guardian Death Sights, and I forgot the name of this one. Uh, mounds of the bounds, uh, the bounds creator. So level 10 or higher monsters can it cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. If a level 10 or higher monster destroys a monster in battle and sends it to the grave, inflict 1,000 damage to the controller of the destroyed monster. When this card on the field is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the grave, you can add one divine monster from your deck. This gives me a couple ideas for a obelisk kind of theme deck, like God deck. Okay, Guardian Death Sight. Cannot be normal summon or set, must be special summoned by its own effect, cannot be special summoned by other ways. If a Guardian Yados is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special this card from your hand. When this card is special summoned, you can equip one Reaper Scythe Dead Sight directly from your deck to this card. So that pretty much confirms another card for the set. You cannot normal summon or special summon. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, send one card from your hand to the graveyard if you do special this card from your graveyard. So it's a constant reoccurring monster, and I do think a Guardian Unados deck is still viable to play. And this is going to make it that much more viable. And it is something I do want to try out. Like, you know, just basically play tons of draw power and stuff. It's just, it's ridiculous. Oh, and um, 
tidbit from Yu-Gi-Oh! Edition Singapore. Mounds of the Bounds creator. Auto safe zone for Mal uh, Malefic. So definitely play it in Malefic. Hello. Field card can't be destroyed. Play it with uh, Malefic Star. And then play Skill Drain. We, we're going to have to do a new Malefic deck. Okay. Two of the best cards out of the set without question. We're going to start with the Rank Up Magic Admire Death Thousands. You can only activate one Rank Up Magic Admire Death Thousand per turn. During the turn you activate this card, you cannot special monsters except with this effect. Target at least one Exceed monster in each graveyard with the same rank. Special one Chaos or Chaos Exceed monster from your extra deck that is one rank higher. And if you do, attach those as Exceed materials. Not bad. Here's why I like Wiretop. Wiretap, counter trap. When a trap card is activated, negate the activation, and if you do, return it to the owner's deck. It doesn't get rid of the card, which is a good thing. Why are you why are you saying that? Simple. It slows your opponent down by one card. It given that it'll still be a threat, it is not prone to dealing with artifacts it is very very helpful in that matchup because you will play this card you will send their artifact Thero Spear back to the deck and they are stuck having to wait to set it again meaning that you are safe from that card's destruction effect I love this card I think Wiretap right now is my favorite card out of the entire set because it's something that I could see being used for quite a bit I believe that's everything let me just double check. Yep, that's everything. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of news videos today, so I, I apologize for that. But we got to get all the news out. I took a personal day yesterday, so stock market will be up tomorrow. I apologize, but that's just how it is. And if you guys like what you see and you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and comment for more. I am Ryu for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council, and we try to bring you everything that we possibly can. But honestly, I want to know what you guys think about Wiretap. Is it something that you will be running? Tell me down below. I really want your opinion. I'll catch you next video. Peace. There's actually three cards I miss from the Dragons of Legend, which is called Duelist of Legend in Japan. And we're going to go straight to it. One is Flash Fusion. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck by using monsters you control as a fusion material monsters. The monster fusion summon by this effect is destroyed during the end phase. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that one, but meh. It's quick. It's a quick blow. Uh, quick spell card. Quick play spell card. So maybe, just maybe. Shooting star. If there's a face up star us monster, target one card in the field and destroy that. Not bad. Not bad. Rising sun slash. Equip spell card only to Utopia. It cannot be destroyed by card effects. Each time a monster attack is negated. Each time a monster attacks. It's negated. Place one Hope Ken counter on this card. The equipped monster gains 500 for each counter, uh, counter on it. If the equipped monster you control would be... De uh, with, yeah. Okay, let's do that again. If the equipped monster you control would be detached as exceed material to activate its effect, you could detach this card as one of the exceed materials. I kind of started there because it's just really late and I want to get that done. But there you go, now you're caught up on everything news-wise. Yay! That's everything for right now. Anyway, if you guys like what you see, just make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and comment for more. I'll catch you next video.